today we're gonna be talking about the naruto game and no i'm not talking about naruto storm 4 i'm talking about that other game naruto Taboruto shinobi striker and if you're new to the game if you should be playing this game in 2023 i do hope you guys enjoy my thoughts on this if you guys want more discussion videos let me know down in the comments but i'm gonna give you guys my genuine thoughts on this game whether or not you should still be playing it in this year that we're in and how the game is currently doing so if you do enjoy the content you do find it helpful make sure you guys like and subscribe turn on that notification bell also for daily shinobi tracker content if you do enjoy that and listen let's try to get 300 likes on today's video i appreciate y'all Let's get into it. Alright man, so let me start by saying this. I love this game. If I would did not like this game at all, I would not daily upload on my channel on this game. So let's get started by saying that. I also want to say this. When the game first came out in 2018, this game is a 5-year-old game. I'm going to tell you this right now. Everybody around that time hated this game. But when I first picked up the game, bro, I loved this game instantly. The fact that you create your own character in Naruto, that's already an amazing selling point. So if you just want to get that based off of that point, Point alone listen definitely pick this game up because that point alone literally makes this game great i'm not gonna lie if this game didn't have that i don't think it'd be as good as it is but definitely want to pick it up for that but yeah the main point of the game is you create your own shinobi and after that you have two different things you could do actually three number one you could do vr missions vr missions are like the missions in the game you do they're like think about xenoverse uh parallel quests you do those but these are more boring and you probably will not enjoy these you will not play this for long the other two are events like 4v4s you get a whole team of you and three friends or you can just go in there by yourself and fight against four other people it's really fun especially with a team and the other one is survival exercise you are in there in a free-for-all six-man lobby and you're by yourself you just fight so those are the game modes that are in the game and yeah like i said if you like the cac type thing you like to create your own character you like to play with a team listen this game's for you all right so now i'm going to talk to you guys about the negative things about this game there are a lot so make sure you guys are prepared to get your snacks and everything but yeah the first negative thing is that this game if you have an old gen console like a playstation 4 xbox series s you're going to be experiencing a lot of crashes now if you're on xbox as well this will be a major turn off for the game if you're playing this game and you just crash a lot you're just gonna hate the game at that point i'm not gonna lie you need to get a next gen console like a ps5 a pc or uh, i don't know what the xbox is xbox series x i think you need to get one of those to you know get through them crashes but if you don't have that you're kind of screwed the next issue is kind of a lack of content now i will say this shinobi tracker in this year has actually improved on the content a lot they're getting a lot more updates usually get a new dlc every two months a new dlc character and now we're starting to get jutsu packs every in between that month so like every two months and then the month We'll get a new jutsu pack which is a brand new jutsu for a class which is really fire been asking for that since like literally i don't know 2021 I, I think i was like the first one to recommend that i'm not sure but yeah they're starting to add more content besides all that though there's really not much to do you get like two shop updates every week i mean every two weeks you get a new shop update every two weeks and the new shop updates bring you new items to the game brings you outfits it brings you weapons ninja tools sometimes in ss rank those are the best quality things in the game and you need to get scrolls to get those stuff so yeah without the dlcs and you know youtube packs and stuff there's not really much content in the game you do play with your friends so that's like the thing carrying the game mostly so if you finish up you know your events like ninja world league ninja world face off you get those rewards man you're probably just playing for fun at that point you know you, you grind up your stuff and you're done now another big issue for this game are modders now there are two different type of modders that you will encounter you have a cosmetic modder that has every item in the game they will usually have an unreleased item that a casual player would not have and they're just there having that account you know what i'm saying they get it very easily now another problem that i will say about shinobi sharker is they tend to never return items that are rare to get for example itachi's hairstyle itachi's hairstyle only came out one time and that was in 2021 that was when i started playing the game again and i'm not gonna lie man if you want to get a certain item in this game you might just wait a year to get it because they tend to never return stuff in this game i honestly don't even blame people for getting cosmetic accounts like just they just never return items in this game but yeah, you got your cosmetic modders now 
the most annoying type of modders. These people need to like literally go outside. You have the one shot modders. These people, listen, if you're in the game, you're getting one tap by somebody, you're literally dying in an instant, like just at the start of the game. That's not normal. That is a one shot modder. Those modders need to go. Those modders are plaging the game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there's been like less of them, but that was a very big issue and it still is an issue to this day. People can easily get access to that. I'll be honest, I don't even know how to get in a, a one shot account and I don't think I ever will. But it's very easy to get one. If you do your research, you can probably find one. And I recommend you, of course, do not do that because you do that, you're a weirdo. Man, yeah, bro, there's a lot of different modders in this game, but the one-shot modders need to go. Cosmetic modders, I seriously do not care about, bro. You guys can play how you want to play, except you just one-shot the game. It's kind of weird, bro. I don't know why you're doing that, but again, if you play this game, expect different type of modders as well. Now, it's time for me to answer your question. Is Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Shocker worth playing in 2023? I would say if you love Naruto, you love to create a character, I would say yes. Play this game. Even if you don't like that, make sure you just try it out, bro. Literally, the game goes on sale for like 10 bucks, like usually every week. And yeah, the game's very good. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting, it's starting to get good this year. Like it used to be kind of bad. Listen, I used to like this game, but back then it was way worse than right now. It's getting really good. We're about to get a new DLC next month. We're about to get a two pack this month. So I definitely recommend this game to you guys if you love Naruto. Even if you don't like the credit character aspect, which I don't see why you wouldn't. I would still try to game out at least once, you know what I'm saying? It's only 10 bucks. It might be hard to get 10 bucks, but if you have 10 bucks lying around, you should get this game. It's definitely fire. And that's just my honest opinion about the game. I do like it. But if you don't like Naruto, you don't like creative character, you think you you heard about these issues and you don't want to get the game. I could see why, man. It's a lot of issues in this game that just stop it from being great. And we all want this game to be great, to be honest. We all love Naruto. We love this game, Naruto, Saboruto, Shinobi Shark. We want it to thrive and go crazy. I for sure do. I don't know about you, but I definitely want to see this game do good. Because like I said, I was one of the first people to say this game's good. And it is good. It just needs more stuff added to it. So now that I told you guys all the positives and the negatives about Shinobi Shark, it's really up to you guys if you want to get this game now i would definitely love for you guys to get this game but again it's up to you if you like the naruto series you like to create a character option you like to team up with your friends this game is definitely for you but if you can't handle the problems that this game might have i would definitely not pick it up but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it now i will also let you guys know this there is a free version of shinobi striker so even if you don't want to buy it there's a free version you guys could try out so yeah man hope you guys do pick up this game because i do appreciate all the support on the channel everybody in this community appreciates the support we're a very small community i'm not gonna lie the shinobi shark community is very small but we all just support each other for i hope everybody supports me because you know, i'm trying to travel crazy for this game i'm trying to put on for this game i really love this game like again i would not be daily uploading this game if i didn't enjoy it but we all appreciate your support we hope you continue to enjoy shinobi striker i don't work for the devs but listen i ain't gonna lie y'all should come here uh you know what i'm saying a little check i'll be putting on for y'all but hey hopefully y'all did enjoy today's video and i will leave a playlist at the end of this video on guides on this game so you do enjoy this game you pick it up i will leave a lot of very helpful videos on this game so that being said hopefully you guys have a blessed night or day and continue to enjoy the content that i post and i'll see y'all boys next time Peace. I just cop a coat with no rope. I deserve it. I just looked inside the bag and told the plug it perfect. Diamonds perfect. Got that working. Diamonds perfect.